హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఎమ్ శంషుద్దీన్ ఐ వెల్కమ్ యూ ఫినాన్షియల్ అకౌంటింగ్ క్లాసెస్ ఇన్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు సాల్వ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ రిలేటింగ్ టు క్యాల్కులేషన్ ఆఫ్ అబ్నార్మల్ లాస్ అండ్ వాల్యుయేషన్ ఆఫ్ క్లోజింగ్ స్టాక్ లెట్ అస్ రీడ్ ది ప్రాబ్లమ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెల్ ఫోన్స్ సప్లైడ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ సెల్ ఫోన్స్ యాట్ రూపీస్ త్రీ హండ్రెడ్ పర్ సెల్ ఫోన్ ప్యాకింగ్ అండ్ క్యారేజ్ ఎక్స్పెన్సెస్ పేడ్ బై కన్సైనర్ రూపీస్ సిక్స్టీన్ థౌజండ్ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెల్ ఫోన్స్ లాస్ట్ ఇన్ ట్రాన్జిట్ ట్వంటీ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ సెల్ ఫోన్స్ సోల్డ్ బై కన్సైని వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దీస్ పర్టిక్యులర్స్ వీ మస్ట్ క్యాల్కులేట్ అబ్నార్మల్ లాస్ అండ్ వాల్యుయేషన్ ఆఫ్ కన్సైన్మెంట్ స్టాక్ లెట్ అస్ స్టార్ట్ the calculation in this problem first we have to calculate abnormal loss first of all we should know what is abnormal loss abnormal loss is a loss which is occurred due to negligence usually in these problems lost in a transit may be considered as abnormal loss in this problem there are 20 cell phones lost in transit that must be valued by taking the expenditure proportionately to these number of mobiles let us start calculation calculation of abnormal loss to calculate this i must prepare a particular chart where i have to write the items i'll write here it is rupees column and this will be a particular column here i will take cost of cost of 20 cell phones 20 cell phones at rupees 300 3000 each it means that 20 into 3000 it will be 60000 the total cost for 20 cell phones rupees 60000 we have to add proportionate proportionate non recurring proportionate non recurring expenses usually here we must take consigner expenses consigner in this problem consigner has incurred packing and carriage expenses i'll take packing and carriage expenses the total amount incurred by him is rupees 16000 this 16000 is for total cell phones but we have to consider only for 20 cell phones it means that 16000 divided by 200 into 20 after dividing 16000 to 200 we get the amount rupees 1600 i'll take 1600 add 1600 to 60000 it will be 61600 this will be abnormal abnormal loss in this way calculation of abnormal loss is made after calculation of abnormal loss second step is to calculate closing stock in units or consignment stock so next second step is calculation of consignment consignment stock or we can call it is closing stock how to calculate closing stock 
closing stock is nothing but it is the cell phones available at the end after selling the cell phones this is calculated by taking total cell phones consigned i'll take a columns particulars this is rupees so this will be in units it is not in rupees so i'll take total cell phones total cell phones consigned total cell phones consigned total cell phones in this problem are 200 this is not rupees this is in units hmm. less less i have to deduct cell phones cell phones lost in transit in transit or it may be called as the abnormal abnormal loss in units it is in units total cell phones lost in transit are 20 the remaining is 180 these are the net cell phones cell phones received out of 180 there are cell phones sold means sale of cell phones sale of cell phones total 150 cell phones sold the remaining cell phones only 30 these are consignment consignment stock or we can call it is closing stock in this way consignment stock is calculated after calculation of consignment stock in units let us value the consignment stock or closing stock i'll take here calculation of value of consignment consignment stock it may be called as the closing stock this will be calculated in this way i'll take two columns one is particulars other one is rupees rupees and particulars so i have to see how many closing stock units available here i'll take total cell phones cell phones cell phones available available at the end means at the time of accounting year we have to calculate how many cells were available or we can take it is closing closing stock of cell phones how it is calculated it is calculated total cell phones minus abnormal loss cell phones minus sale of cell phones that um, remaining cell phones are 30 i will take 30 cell phones into each cell phone cost rupees 3000 total amount will be 30000 into 3000 it is 90000 then i have to add proportionate 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 non recurring non recurring expenses here non recurring expenses are the expenses which are once in a lifetime of that particular asset or these are the expenses incurred while sending goods to the consignee usually spent by consigner sometimes consignee also spent these expenses in such cases while calculating closing stock we must consider in this problem only consigner has spent consigner has spent 
how much money he has spent he has spent for packing he has spent for packing and carriage see carriage and packing the total expenses are rupees 16000 i'll take 16000 these are the expenditure incurred by consigner for total goods or total cell phones total 16000 is spent for 200 cell phones but the, but at the end of the day or year the cell phones available are only 30 If we divide sixteen thousand divided by two hundred into thirty, it comes to rupees two thousand four hundred. You add to the total cost of closing stock ninety two thousand four hundred. This is the value of value of closing closing stock, or we can write. value of consignment consignment stock both are same in this way valuation of closing stock is made thank you